Let me show you guys how to find the instantaneous velocity at t is equal to 1 for this position function. And this is calculus 1. We will first do this by using the limit definition. So here we go. V of 1, that's the notation for the instantaneous velocity. This right here is defined to be the limit when t goes to 1. And then we will have the position function. In this case, it's the h of t minus the position when t is equal to 1. So we have h of 1 and then divided by t minus 1. And this is pretty much just the slope formula. But when we have t approaches 1, we get the instantaneous rate of change. So that's the instantaneous velocity. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. So let's write down, we have the limit as t goes to 1. And by the way, at the end, I'll show you guys the fast way. But for now, let's stick with this. H of t is just this, so let's write it down. Negative 16t squared plus 80t, and then minus h of 1. What's h of 1? Well, let's do it on the side real quick. h of 1, this is just, we're plugging 1 into the original h function, the t here and also the t here. So we have negative 16 times 1 squared plus 80 times 1. Work that out. This is just negative 16 plus, that would get 64. So this right here, we will have minus 64. And then for the bottom, we get t minus 1. And I guarantee you guys, if you plug in 1 into all the t's, you get 0 over 0. Because we set that to be so. It's always going to be like this to find the instantaneous velocity. So we have to use some algebra in order to cancel the 0 for 0. Remember, if t is approaching 1, we should expect to cancel the t minus 1. On the top, let's factor things out. Let's first factor out the negative 16. That will be pretty helpful. So we are looking at the limit as t goes to 1. First, take out the negative 16, and then we will get positive t squared. And then 80 divided by negative 16, that will give us negative 5t. And then negative 40, sorry, negative 64 divided by 16, that will give us positive 4. And then we have the t minus 1. This right here can be factored here again. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the limit as t goes to 1. And again, we have that negative 16. Factor this trinomial, we get t minus 1 times t minus 4. And then on the bottom, we have the t minus 1. As you can see, as t goes to 1, we have the 0 over 0 situation. Then we can expect to have the t minus 1 to be cancelled. And it is happening right now. So that's the best moment. Now, put the 1 to this t. So no more limit sign. Just go ahead and write down the negative 16 times 1 here. And then minus 4. This is negative 3 times negative 16, we get positive 48. That's pretty much it. But this is a situation question, so attach a unit. H is measured in feet, and then T is second. So this is feet per second, and then we are done. I know, I know, there's a fast way. So let me show you that right here as well. This is the fast way. If you have done the power rule, then you can go ahead and use this. So let's go ahead and write this down again. h of t is negative 16t squared plus 80t. Let's go ahead and write a formula for the velocity at any time t. And in fact, v of t is just going to be the derivative of the position. So right here, I'm just going to say we have our v of t. This is just in notation h prime of t, and that's the so-called derivative. And to do so, we use the power rule. Check this out. Here we have t to the power of 2, right? So go ahead and put the 2 to the front, and then minus 1. 2 times negative 16, we get negative 32. And then 2 minus 1 is just 1, so we have t to the first power. Right here, we can do the same thing. This is t to the what power? 1. So t to the first power, and then go ahead, bring the 1 to the front, and then minus 1. 1 times 80 is just 80. t to the zeroth power is just 1, so no more t. So 
v of t, the velocity function, is just this. And now if we want v of 1, we can just plug this into this t. We get negative 32 times 1 and then plus 80. And you bet we will get 48. Of course, this is feet per second. Of course, we are done. That's it.